perhaps this is a conversation that is relevant to the end of the fourth T20I and looking at to the fifth deal, where South Africa's batting for two games running now has just seemed to lose that that X factor or that 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 chutzpah that it had in the first two games bundled out for 87 wouldn't be a good feeling. What's happened to South Africa's batting? To be honest with you, I think it's kind of like it looked like they've had the same pattern for the last four games. Um, they've started off really slowly every single game. And uh, I think India, even though they didn't play very good cricket in the first two games, South Africa beat them because we, they had two players play out of their skins. They had David Miller play a great knock to win one game and they had Heinrich Klaassen play a great knock to, to win the other. You know, you take those two knocks out and I remember talking about those two games and I said, mm -hmm. you take those two knocks out and, and India are right in the competition. And to be honest with you, South Africa got lucky with those two games and that's why they won. But we've seen a, a very same pattern of play play out for four games in a row. They've won the toss. They've decided to chase. They've batted really slowly, um, put their batters under pressure. They've lost too many wickets inside the first 10 overs. And then they've really relied on somebody to play an exceptional knock to get them over the line. And in the last two games, um, you know, it's just been too difficult. Would you even suggest a change in how they approach the game? They won four tosses and they've looked to chase and it's not gone right for the last two. This is the Chinnaswamy, of course. Would you recommend that maybe they bat first, change things up, give India a different sort of challenge? Uh, I mean, I think at the Chinnaswamy, I mean, it's such a fantastic chasing ground. But <laughs> teams have won a lot. Uh, yeah. I, I, I mean, I stand to be corrected, yeah. But I, I know you can win batting first. You know, if you bat well and you bat first, you put big runs, you, you put a team under pressure. I think tonight could have been a game where they could have been um, braver with their decision making and, and maybe change things up and said, okay, tonight we're going to bat first, we're going to put some runs on the board uh, and we're going to put India under pressure with the ball. Uh, I think where they've been struggling also is that their number one bowler, um, Shamsi, he, he's been the number one uh, T20 bowler for a while. I think he's just slipped out. He's, he hasn't had the series that he's wanted to and South Africa rely a lot on him between overs, what is it, like 7 to 15, to take a wicket or two here or there, similar job that Imran Tahir has done in the past, to really drag teams back. And he hasn't had the series that I think that he's been hoping for. And, and that's kind of like put South, put South Africa under pressure come the last five or six overs. They've got a lot, of, a lot of questions to ask themselves when they get to Bangalore. How are they going to change it up on that particular wicket? Are they going to have a different team? Is Timber's elbow going to be okay? Yeah, mm. uh, momentum with India right now. Mm. All right, Basim, you go with that momentum with India and safe to say now we don't expect a change? Yeah, I don't see much change. I mean, not 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 at all, to be honest. Uh, definitely two big wins. I mean, uh, you know, those wins are not a small win, you know, winning by 80 plus runs. Even the last one was a big win. So definitely momentum going forward is with India. Hmm. Just on those South African bowlers, they obviously miss Rabada due to injury and Parnell as well, Dale. Uh, in this fourth T20, I but it looked like Lungi and Giri is in pretty good nick, good shape. Uh, Nokia and him were South Africa's best bowlers at Rajkot and didn't complete their four overs. Would you would you want to just sort of make things clearer for whoever captains South Africa in that fifth game? How would you like to see their bowlers perhaps be used? Yeah, um, I mean, ideally, you want your best bowlers. I, I don't know what Rabada is struggling with, whether it's an injury or whether they just wanted to get Lungi into a game and, and change it up. Um, but I just feel like the South African team in general, you know, and, and it's strange because they haven't played any cricket together for a while. They could just be lacking that kind of like killer instinct that they need. And the bowlers especially just haven't been as sharp. Uh, you see tonight, Marco Janssen comes in, first ball is a wide. Uh, Lungi Yangiri has been sitting on the sideline, practicing so much. First ball runs in, balls an offside wide. You, you know, you just, you just think that these guys... You want them to be a little bit more precise with, with, with what's been going on. Um, but, yeah, like I said, you know, they, this, this is the core group of guys that they've got right now. How they use them is going to be up to the captain, whoever plays. If Temba doesn't play, um, I'm sure Quinny might take over. And he's just mm -hmm. going to have to change it up, definitely, because they've had a similar style of play. India's read the play really well, uh, and they're going to have to throw a spanner into the works now. Yeah.